We have stated the following theorem, uh, an SCF f is a strategy proof if and only if it is monotone in, in our previous module. In this module we are going to prove it formally and uh, one of the reasons of showing this proof is to uh, notice the proof technique and this proof technique will actually be used later as well and in general this, this principle is quite uh, well utilized in several other parts of mechanism design. So we, we have to prove an if and only if condition for strategy proofness and monotonicity. So let us first look at the forward direction or the only if direction. That is if the, if the social choice function is strategy proof then it must be monotone. So what is the if condition of the monotonicity? So because we will have to show this monotonicity then the if condition must, must already be uh, pre-existing and now we will have to show that then the, um, uh, the the conclusion of that uh, if condition is also holding. So what was uh, monotonicity? Uh, so if we had these two uh, preference profiles P and P prime, where in the first preference profile the outcome was A, and the the, the case that uh, if you look at the dominated set of A under P i, that is weakly increasing in the in the uh, the other preference profile P prime right so and yeah so this dominated set is going to be uh, weakly increasing for all the agents now you can uh, break the transition from this p to p prime into n different stages in each stage only one agent's uh, preference is go going to get changed so what is it so uh, let's say our first preference was p0 and this was the original preference and the final one n is p prime where all the agents have the preference uh, uh, their preferences uh, changed into p pi primes but in p1 uh, only player one's preference changed in uh, from p1 to p2 only pre uh, player two's preference has changed and so on this is how we are going to do it so in the kth uh, transition only up to uh, k -th agents preferences have changed and all the other agents k plus 1 to n their preferences are remaining this, uh, the same as before. Now we claim that uh, what is going to happen is in each of these intermediate stages the outcome is going to be a. Okay, So this is, uh, this is the claim that we are going to make and the intuition is very uh, clear if uh, it does not hold, if there exists any uh, intermediate stage where the outcome changes, then um, we can actually create an uh, instance where it is beneficial to manipulate for any of the agents, some of the agents. So we, we are going to prove it by contradiction. So suppose not, suppose there exists some pk minus 1 and pk. So you are transitioning from pk minus 1 to pk such that in, in pk minus 1 the outcome was a and in pk the outcome has changed to b which is not equal to a. So let us assume that. So what is going to happen now uh, one important thing is that because uh, for from p to p prime uh, this dominated set has weakly increased so that means whenever we are uh, looking at from uh, from pk minus 1 so this is the uh, the, uh, the preference profile p of k minus 1 and this is pk that's how we have defined it uh, so the uh, for player k the relative position of a uh, uh, in the in the preferences has weakly increased so a has gone weakly better off uh, weakly above its uh, current uh, position as it was in pk minus 1 and we have uh, we are assuming that outcome here was a while outcome here at a is b now let us uh, go case by case so the, there could be three cases so the first case is that in in this uh, in this particular uh, preference profile for player k a is more preferred than b and in the new preference profile also a is uh, more preferred than b remember we are just comparing between the these two alternatives what is more preferred. Now what you can see is for player k, 
um, uh, this alternative is worse than A uh, in this preference profile. So, and it knows that if it uh, reports its preference to be PK, the outcome would be A, uh, which is more preferred uh, by that agent, even in this particular preference profile, PK prime. So therefore, P, uh, voter K should misrepresent uh, its, uh, whenever its true preference is PK prime, it will report it PK so that it gets the outcome of A. Similarly, the, the converse thing you can imagine that uh, B is more preferred than A in both these cases. Then you know, from PK, it knows that the, the outcome is uh, a worse outcome. So it is uh, outputting A. While if it uh, misrepre misrepresents its pre preference to PK prime, it can get an alternative B, which is more preferred uh, by the same agent at that preference profile. Okay. So in both these cases, um, uh, K misreports. And if the third condition is that B yeah, in PK was uh, above A and it went down. So this is the possibility that B was somewhere here. So B was above and here it went below. And this is these three are the ex three exhaustive cases. The, the fourth condition is um, cannot happen because uh, A's relative uh, uh, position has weakly bettered off. So therefore, um, uh, there cannot be a situation where uh, there was some uh, alternative below A and that has uh, that went above A in the new uh, PK. So in this case, what happens is that uh, in both these uh, situations, either PK or PK prime, uh, uh, voter K will mi misreport because if it uh, mis uh, it knows that here the outcome is A, if it misreports to uh, PK prime, it gets B, which is better. Here also it is getting a worse outcome in PK prime, and if it misreports to uh, PK, it gets a better outcome. So in both these preference profiles, voter K is going to misrepresent. So um, what we have actually assumed is incorrect because if uh, if this uh, uh, contradictory statement is uh, is to be true then uh, it is actually uh, contradicting the fact that f is actually breaking the notion of strategic proofness so this must be true that in all the intermediate stages that we have assumed the outcome would be equal to a and therefore even in the final outcome at p prime the outcome should also be a Okay, so now uh, we look at the, the reverse direction that if the uh, social choice function f is monotone, then it must be strategy proof. And uh, which is equivalent to saying that if it is not strategy proof, then it, uh, it implies that it is not monotone. Uh, we are again going to prove it in a, a via contradiction. So suppose not, that means uh, if it is uh, not strategy proof, yet it is monotone. So let's see what uh, contradiction we, it leads to. So not strategy proof means that it is uh, manipulable, that uh, which means that there exists some player, some preference, uh, some pair of preferences PI and PI prime and some preference uh, profile of the other agents P minus I such that this uh, outcome when it manipulates its preference to PI prime, it gets a better outcome than uh, reporting it truthfully under the same truthful um, uh, preference. So let us assume that this f of p i prime p minus i is uh, is b, and f of p i p minus i, and this is when they are reporting their preferences truthfully to be equal to a. So hence, we what we have is b is more preferred than a. Now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use a trick that we have uh, done uh, some time uh, back. So we are going to construct carefully a new preference profile where we will show some sort of a uh, contradiction. So let us construct some P double prime such that uh, for all the agents except agent I, they, the preferences are same as the original preference. So for all the other agents, we are not changing the, uh, their preferences. For the, this particular agent P i, what is going to happen is we are uh, putting the, the topmost alternative in this new preference profile to be B and the second topmost alternative to be equal to A, right? So you can imagine that uh, in this uh, in this P i prime, the topmost alternative is B, the second topmost is A, uh, and everything else is remaining the same. And this uh, preference profile is nothing but our P double prime. 
Now you can uh, consider two different transitions. So what is happening is from PI P minus I when you are looking at PI uh, double prime P minus I we see that for player I uh, the relative position of A is getting weakly better off because what can happen here clearly we know that in the original preference uh, B was more preferred than E. So in the original preference B was uh, somewhere above and A was somewhere below for agent I. So this is only the preference of player I. Uh, for all the other agents nothing is changing so we don't really need to care, care about that. Now what we are doing is we are uh, pushing this B on the top and A to the second second top. So uh, whatever was so the only possibility is that uh, all the alternatives that were uh, except B which was above A is now coming down uh, below A. So that is uh, that is the reason we can uh, we can safely write that the dominated set of A under this P I is weakly uh, getting uh, larger uh, in the uh, in the new preference uh, profile of PI prime PI double prime. Now, because we are also assuming that this is monotone, so the, then therefore in this new preference profile, the outcome should also be equal to A. So in the previous previous preference uh, profile, the outcome here uh, it was A. So therefore, it should continue to be uh, to be A. Now. Uh, we look at a different transition now. Uh, we are looking at PI prime P minus I to PI double prime P minus I. So what was PI prime? So we, we know that in uh, in PI prime P minus I the outcome was B. And what we have done is again uh, PI, um, yeah, so in PI prime the uh, outcome uh, was uh, B. And uh, in this uh, PI prime we have pushed that uh, alternative to be, uh, to be the topmost. And because it is going to the top, all the alternatives that was uh, that was potentially above B in in PI prime that has now gone below B. So you can look at the dominated set of B under this PI prime uh, that has actually gone uh, weakly increased in the uh, preference uh, PI double prime. So we can use the same monotonicity condition to conclude that PI double prime P minus I uh, the uh, the social choice outcome at that. Uh, preference profile would be equal to B. Now this these two things are essentially the same the left hand side is the same and B is not equal to A so therefore this actually leads to a contradiction. So that actually concludes the proof even on the reverse direction. All right so that was uh, that was the proof uh, that is a uh, strategy proofness and the monotonicity are one and the same because this is if and only if condition. Now what we are going to do is uh, we'll, uh, we'll show that monotonicity or strategy proofness because they are equivalent in this case uh, and you are looking at uh, that condition along with ontoness then that will be uh, that, that will be Pareto efficient. So we already have seen that uh, if we have a set uh, so we have a set of Pareto efficient so let's say this is the set of all Pareto efficient uh, allocations uh, Pareto efficient social choice functions then that is contained within the set of unanimous uh, uh, social choice function and that is contained within that onto. So in this figure uh, the largest set is onto. Uh, it, it is containing the unanimous uh, set of um, uh, social choice functions which is also containing the, um, the set of PE, uh, Pareto efficient social choice functions. Now we are looking at the weaker most, the weakest uh, um, condition over that uh, social choice function and we are saying that if you uh, want to have ontoness plus monotonicity which is uh, same as strategy proofness then you must necessarily be only PE so that is what this figure says that you will, will only hit uh, this particular place and therefore whenever we are looking at only social choice functions that are monotone or strategy proof uh, Pareto efficiency, unanimity or ontoness are one and the same. So there is no difference between them. There cannot be a situation, uh, a, a social choice function which is monotone and onto but not Pareto efficient. So that is exactly what this lemma is saying that uh, you, can, you can shrink uh, this set into only Pareto efficient uh, allocation. So 
what does that mean so suppose uh, it is not true so which means that uh, suppose it is monotone and on to but uh, it is not pareto efficient so not pareto efficient uh, we already know what it means so it says that you have a and b and a preference uh, profile p such that b is strictly preferred than a by all the uh, agents here by all the agents in in set n but the the outcome the social choice outcome is uh, is equal to a and if that happens then we can say that this social choice function is not pair efficient but we also know that this uh, social choice function is on to that means there exists some p prime such that so for every b you, you can always find that uh, there exists some p prime uh, such that f of p prime is equal to b so we have selectively chosen this b so this b th is the same b uh, which actually uh, Pareto dominates A. Now we are going to do a very similar trick constructing this uh, PI double prime where we have chosen the f uh, for all the players the, the topmost position the topmost uh, uh, alternative is B and the second uh, topmost is A and this is true for all the agents here. So this looks like this figure here. So therefore, what we can conclude is that this uh, uh, the dominated set of uh, of uh, B under this P i prime is uh, weakly getting better off in P i double prime, right? And now we also know that it, this uh, function is monotone. So we know that in P i prime the outcome was B. So that is uh, by the definition of ontoness. So if the outcome was B and your uh, dominated set uh, was actually weakly increasing then by monotonicity we know that the outcome will remain the same so that's uh, fair enough so this is uh, let's say point one where the uh, the social choice outcome at pi double prime is equal to one now you also see that this dominated set for a from pi because in pi what is happening for all the agents uh, b was above a so it, it was very similar to the previous example that b was above a and uh, there could be some other alternatives uh, this was p the original uh, preference so for player i this was the case for all the other agents uh, b was so maybe the position of b and a relative position could have changed but they they were always above b was always above a so if that was the case uh, in p double prime in this preference profile what we are doing is we are flushing this b and a onto the top so which means that all the other alternatives are actually falling below A. So A's uh, dominated set is actually getting weakly better off, weakly larger in this P, P double prime for all the agents. So therefore, because in, in this uh, F of P the outcome was A, so it must be the case that in F uh, P double prime the outcome should also be equal to A. And that actually has a contradiction. So let's say this is 2 then 1 and 2 are actually in a contradiction because they are the same preference uh, profile but uh, they are leading to two different uh, alternatives. So that actually proves the fact that uh, we cannot have a situation where it is monotone and on to and it is not pareto efficient so uh, it uh, actually implies that it, it must be pareto efficient. And as a corollary of this result we can say that if we look at f to be equal to strategy proof uh, which is equ equivalent to monotone strategy proof and pareto efficient this is implies and is implied by it is strategy proof and unanimous and similarly it is strategy proof and on to so we will uh, essentially whenever we are in the world with social choice function which is strategy proof um, ontoness unanimity and pareto efficiency are one and the same we don't really distinguish between them so in this setup, we have a very uh, landmark result, uh, the, the most important result uh, in the social choice setup, maybe one of the first results, uh, very similar to Arrow's impossibility result. This is known as the gibbers weight theorem, uh, sometimes also called the gibbers weight impossibility theorem. Suppose we have at least three alternatives and we have the social choice function which is uh, onto and strategy proof. Then it implies and is implied by the fact that f is dictatorial and the result is i mean very much similar the uh, the conclusion is very much similar to uh, 
uh, arrows impossibility result but the setup here is of social choice function rather than a social welfare function and the conditions of uh, uh, the, the two desirable properties that we want are ontoness and strategy proofness these are these are slightly different so but we notice that we actually uh, again come back to the same situation where we had an impossibility so uh, in in certain textbooks you will see the same statement for Gibbert's other weight uh, with uh, uh, instead of ontoness you, it is replaced with pair to efficiency or unanimity they mean the same because because of this corollary here that they all these things when you are talking about strategy proofness they are equivalent